In today's Health Watch, we discuss a rare disease that causes tumors to form in the brain and organs. Local 3's Connie Fellman shows us how a newly approved drug is saving patients from undergoing repeated dangerous surgeries. Von Hippel-Lindau disease, or VHL, is an inherited condition named after the two European scientists who discovered it. VHL puts people at higher risk of cancerous and benign tumors in multiple organs. Until last year, surgical removal of the tumors was the only treatment. But now, a newly approved therapy may help people with VHL avoid repeated dangerous surgeries. <laughs> From learning to play Stairway to Heaven to planning her wedding, 33-year-old Ashley Colburn doesn't step away from a challenge, even though she's been blind since she was 14. I am in a category called nil, which means absolutely nothing, zero vision, no light perception at all. Colburn has the genetic condition von Hippel-Lindau disease, or VHL, which caused non-cancerous tumors to form in her retinas. VHL also means a high risk of other tumors. Colburn started showing additional symptoms in 2017. I felt like ribbons of pain pulsing at the back of my neck when I would stand up too fast. More tumors, this time in her brain. If not treated, is fatal. Brain surgery was followed by recovery, and Colburn went on to life as a newlywed. Then, about 18 months ago, a sudden familiar pounding in the back of her head. Dr. Eliopoulos was about to schedule Colburn for another brain surgery, when doctors learned a new drug designed to shrink VHL tumors was close to approval. It's called Belzudafan, also known as Wellerig. We can treat now the patients uh, and uh, save them from having the craniotomy. In August 2021, Colburn began taking three pills a day. Five weeks after she started, the drug shrunk her brain tumors by more than a third. So it is clearly a game changer. And for Colburn and her husband Patrick, clearly a life changer. Doctors say of the 19 VHL patients treated with the drug, all had tumor shrinkage. Ashley says she'll remain on the drug as long as it continues to keep her tumors from growing. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 3 News. And up next